In a previous video, we started thinking about strategies for dividing numbers where either the numbers are decimals or their quotients are going to be decimals. So now let's continue that and we're going to do slightly more involved examples. So let's say we want to figure out what 500 divided by 200 is. Divided by 200. Pause this video and see if you can figure that out. Well, one strategy for doing this is to just re-express this as a fraction and see if you can simplify this fraction in a way that it's straightforward to express it as a decimal. So for example, this is going to be the same thing. This is equal to 500, 500 over 200. And now we can simplify this. We could say this is the same thing as 5 times 100, 5 times 100 over 2 times 100. The reason why that is useful is you say, hey look, I have 100 in the numerator, I have 100 in the denominator. 100 divided by 100 is just going to be 1. So you could just view this. This is equal to 5 halves, 5 halves times, times 100 over 100. Times 100 over 100 which is just going to be equal to which is just going to be equal to 1 another way to think about it you could divide the numerator by 100 and you would have 5 and as long as you divide the denominator by the same thing you're not changing the value of the fraction so if you divide the denominator by 100 you're going to get 2 so any way you think about it this could be simplified as 5 halves but we're not done yet. That is, that is what 500 divided by 200 is. But can we express this as a decimal? Well, we can rewrite 5 halves as a mixed number. So 5 halves is going to be equal to, well, how many times does 2 go into 5? Well, it goes 2 times, and then you have 1 half left over. So this is going to be 2 and 1, 2 and 1 half. And now how do we express this right over here as a decimal? Well, you might recognize that 1 half is the same thing as 5 tenths. So this is going to be equal to 2 and 5 over 10, which of course we can write as 2.5 or 2 and 5 tenths. So 500 divided by 200 is 2.5. Let's do another example. Let's say we wanted to figure out what 0 0.63 divided by divided by 0 0.07 is pause this video and see if you can come up with a strategy for doing this well there's multiple ways to tackle it one way to is to think about both of them in terms of hundredths so for example this is 63 hundredths hundredths and this right over here is seven hundredths, hundredths. And so if you have 63 of something and you're dividing that by seven hundredths, what are you going to get? Well, you're going to, this, if you took your seven hundredths and you multiply it by nine, you're going to get 63 hundredths. And so 63 of something divided by 7 of that same something is going to be equal to 9. This is going to be equal, this is going to be equal to 9. 7 times 9 is 63, so 7 hundredths times 9 is going to be 63 hundredths. Another way to think about it is we can express this as a fraction. So in the numerator you have 0 0.63 and in the denominator you have 0 0.07, and if the decimals are bothering us, we can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same value to get rid of the decimals. So let's multiply the numerator by 100, and also multiply the denominator by 100. This doesn't change the value of the expression because multiplying by 100 over 100 is just the same thing as multiplying by 1. So this would be equal to 63 hundredths times 100. Well, we would move the decimal 2 to the right, this is going to be equal to 63 over 7 hundredths times 100. Once again, we move the decimal 2 to the right. This is going to be 7. So 63 divided by 7, once again, that is going to be equal to 
that is going to be equal to nine. 